Hi, this is Steve Tibbetts, uh, founder and CEO of Ziva Aero. And I'm here at Oshkosh in a, in a very exciting week going on and a lot of uh, development in electric aircraft. So it's very fun to see. Ziva is developing a all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Ziva started in late 2017. Uh, we put a team together to go after the Boeing-sponsored X, X Prize called GoFly. And uh, we are... Uh, currently a team of about 25 engineers and designers working away and it's very exciting. This technology is based on a NASA paper that I wrote in 2005 um, and you know I had the this imaginative idea to supply vertical flight to the masses. So our big picture goal is to have everybody have a Ziva in their garage by 2040. So that's the big picture. They'll be autonomous and uh, you'll be able to summon it from your phone and have it pick you up and drop you off wherever you want. Ziva uh, participated in the GoFly Prize and uh, we designed a aircraft that met the size requirements and, and duration requirements and I think we really had, a, I think, the most uh, machine that was most capable of performing the goals. Unfortunately, uh, they, they set the bar pretty high at, at, at GoFly and none of the teams were able to qualify. So we've taken that vehicle, which was the GoFly vehicle, and we're redesigning it with a larger, uh, larger machine, larger stance, really with, with solving a couple of problems. One is that it'll be more efficient with swinging larger propellers. And the second is that the uh, landing gear will be more, have a larger stance, so it'll be more stable on the ground. So those are the two problems we're solving with the Z2 going forward. We are located in Tacoma, Washington, in the Puget Sound area, which is kind of the heart of uh, aerospace in the Northwest. Ziva achieved a major milestone in January when we flew off Tether, really, uh, for the first time and had a significant flight and captured it on video, and that was super exciting for the team. Uh, we are continuing to do test flights and looking forward to uh, also bringing the Z2 online to test fly that as well. Ziva is looking at the market in mass and so part of the design concept is to build a machine that's highly manufacturable and can achieve a price goal that's lower than than the, a lot of the competition and ultimately drive the price down enough so that uh, everyday uh, citizens can fly this thing. By 2026 or 2027 we hope to have the autonomous technology in place that will allow it to be flown by virtually anyone. Now. I have to say, I'm not sure if the FAA is going to be caught up to us by then, but we'll certainly have the machine capability around that time frame. The Z2 um, is, is also very capable as a cargo vehicle, uh, since it can be remotely piloted or autonomous. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of usefulness for um, cargo delivery and ship to shore and ship to ship kind of deliveries. Use cases for the Z2 are, uh, I think the most interesting ones are first responders for uh, medical services. So we want to get the uh, medic on site as quickly as possible to help save lives. In addition to that, there's a lot of interest from special operations. So we've gotten uh, uh, people that I can't really talk about right now that are highly interested in a vehicle that can not only deliver people but goods to uh, forces that might be in trouble that just need some, some uh, supplies. And so that's exciting as well. But I also envision, for example, you know, the Navy SEALs are going to want this vehicle because they can fly without a heat signature very quietly under the radar and basically the, an invisible delivery system. Uh, and then, you know, we've got a 50-mile range, so that means they can do ship-to-shore or ship-to-ship -ship kind of operations.